In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to install fonts on your computer. During class, we went to thefont.com, which is an awesome website that you can go and get uh, custom fonts that people make. So we were looking at the comic fonts, so click on comic or whatever you want to look at. I've gotten fonts off this before. You, there's a lot of different things. Um, and then we look through them, and I really like this Garfield font, so let's download the Garfield font. And it says free, and it says download. If you look at this one, it says free for personal use, um, six font files. That means um, that you can use the font, but just use it for yourself, like because this is all like free, open source kind of stuff. Like just use it for what they intend it for, because there's some copy left or copyright stuff involved. Uh, so we like Garfield, so we're gonna hit download, and it downloads it into our computer. I'm just going to go to my downloads in Safari and you see it right here Garfield dash one this is the second time I did this because I messed up on the first take uh, and you can it brings into your downloads folder or wherever you have it saved and you see that it's a TTF file which just means it's it contains text like actual text not a text file um, so I'm gonna double click on it and you see this little window opens up um, it's actually in the font book which is its own program which contains all the fonts on your computer and you can see the alphabet and there's only regular sometimes there's um, italics and underlined but all you want to do is click install font and then it opens up your font book which has all the other fonts in your computer like the normal ones and my computer froze and so we see that right here we have Garfield all right, so it's in the computer now. You don't have to do much else to get it to work. And so you can go into Photoshop. And I just, I'm going to go to File New. Just want a normal document. And I can click on the T for text. And I'm going to write it's of course too small, so I'll double click on it to change the size of it. And I have to move it over. That's also a bad color. So you can change the size of the font up here, the um, the finish of the font, like sharp or crisp or strong, and here's the font color. So let's make this red. Um, this is some new font. Right now it's on, uh, you can look up here, Futura Medium. So where it says Futura, Futura is a font. You can click on this and it's a drop down menu, and you can see all the different fonts. I'm using CS3, so this might look slightly different than CS5, but it's all the same for the most part. Um, so here it is, Garfield. It already put it in there. So if it doesn't show up, you might just have to close Photoshop and reopen it since you installed the font. So here's font Garfield. Yeah, here's some new font. And now it's in the Garfield font. So you can do whatever that you want with this. Um, and that is for Photoshop, for Illustrator. Also, I'm working on Illustrator CS3. It's a very similar process. Um, you click T for text and then up here it has the name of the font, regular and the size and it, what do you want to align it as. So I'm just going to look for Garfield before I write this time. So I click Garfield it's 12, it's probably too small. And then yeah, there it is. You have it. And you can, you know, do whatever you want with it now. It's very easy to install that font. So just to go over it real quick again, you on defont.com, there's other sites, but defont's the best and it's free. You find the font, you hit download, it downloads it into your folder. This is an OTF file, which it it's I don't know, it's just another type of file that holds the text. And then you double click on it to open it up. It opens up in font book. You hit install font. It puts it in there. This one is right here. And then you can go into the program. 
You have to remember the name of the font if it's a strange name like that. There's O. Oh, Q U E. There it is. And now you have the font. Um, so that's the process. It's pretty quick, painless, and it lets you add a lot, a lot more character. It just makes your stuff look unique. So there you have it.